Tell you a live look outside right now. Nothing but smiles on people's faces. <laughs> these this on an afternoon like this, where the sun has come out and the temperatures are pretty warm. Absolutely. First alert, meteorologist, chief meteorologist Derek Beasley. I lost faith this morning for a while when it was raining so hard, and then boom, the sun came out. Uh, well, you know, I would never make promises like that and not be able to keep them. And yeah, we, that sunshine did end up coming out this afternoon. It did look a little glear, uh, gloomy and dreary here for the first part of the day, but things certainly ended up improving here by afternoon. Plenty of sun and temperatures have really responded to this sunshine that we've been seeing here over the past couple of hours. Let's get right to your radar. We are tracking some rain now just off to our north and west. And this is just a little small batch of showers that is trying to make its way through the region now across parts of Frederick and Carroll County, up into also sections of Baltimore County as well. This is going to continue making its way east southeast here. So, Westminster, a little bit of rain there, Tawny Town, and this is going to continue tracking off towards the south and east. So, there's more upstream from there. And it's out of the question a couple of showers could sneak into the region here later on tonight, but it looks like by far the better opportunity for rain will come during the morning and early afternoon hours on your Friday. And it does look very wet during. During that period. Temperatures ranging anywhere from the 60s here in the metro up towards Aberdeen and Falston, all the way back towards the west, though, in the northern Anne Arundel County and portions of Carroll County and Howard County. We're looking at low to mid 70s, Ellicott City and Columbia, as well as Clarksville, down towards Fulton and down into northern Anne Arundel County. We're looking at mid 70s right now, even 81 right now in Lexington Park, 75 out towards uh, Salisbury, and even out west, Cumberland at 75 degrees. I'll back out of the way so you can see how this is going to play out. Now, temperatures are going to stay very mild. Here for tonight. By midnight, only down to around 68 degrees, believe it or not. A few showers possibly here later on tonight, but by far the better chance for rain is going to come tomorrow morning with the darker green showing the possibility of there some steadier rain that's going to be moving into the region. Temperatures tomorrow are going to be noticeably cooler. We're only going to be in the 50s throughout most of the day tomorrow as opposed to the 70s that we're seeing right now. And there's more where that came from because we have more opportunities for rain coming in on Saturday as scattered showers will continue developing across our area. With this front, this is going to kind of hang around the region for a little while. You see, notice here through Friday morning, continuing chances for rain and into the afternoon. But again, it looks like by the time we head towards Saturday evening, things will start to dry out. And Sunday right now is not looking bad. So the entire weekend is not looking like a washout at this point. For Baltimore County tomorrow, look at this. Temperatures only into the 50s with a good chance for rain from Cockeysville out towards Dundalk. Arbutus at 58 tomorrow and out towards areas like uh, Upper Co. getting into the low to mid 50s. Kent County tomorrow over the eastern shore. We're looking at Chesterville at 56 degrees, I should say, and out towards uh, areas like Rock Hall, about 55 here for tomorrow afternoon. So noticeably cooler than what we're seeing right now, about 20 degrees cooler. First alert 7 8 forecast shows more rain here for your Saturday. And then finally, we'll get the rain out of here with dry weather and sunshine. Sunday, Sunday looks like a beautiful day, and we'll see that continue into Monday next week before we say our next chance for rain on Tuesday.